where will Dwayne Wade end up? There are about four suitors who are looking at Dwayne Wade heavily. The Cleveland Cavaliers, San Antonio Spurs, Oklahoma City Thunder, and the Miami Heat. Now, out of all these four teams, they have to at least provide him a veteran's minimum of $2.3 million. Uh, as we all know, Dwayne Wade was bought out by the Chicago Bulls. He left uh, $8 million out of his uh, $20 million, $23.5 million contract on the table. So basically, he's going to get paid the or remaining 17 million which is not bad at all this is a perfect opportunity for Dwayne Wade to reinvent himself to contribute to a potentially championship team especially if every team's basically their basic goal is to take down the Golden State Warriors which is a tough feat to do in itself we'll see what happens with that but when we're looking at all the teams this is what all the teams have to offer basically if you look at the Miami Heat, they can offer him the most money, $4.2 million for the veterans minimum. San Antonio Spurs can offer him $3.3 million. Cleveland Cavaliers can offer him $2.5 million. And the OKC Thunder can offer him $2.3 million at the veterans minimum. Now, out of all these teams, the team that I really want Dwayne Wade to go to is OKC. I would love to see Westbrook, Paul George, Carmelo Anthony, and Dwayne Wade. Steven Adams on the court together. Can you imagine that? That would be lovely to watch. That would be insane to see. That's high octane offense. That's veterans on the court mixed in with youth. It's like watching the All-Star game every single night. Now we know that if Dwayne Wade goes to any of these teams, he most likely will not be a starter. Okay, see, I could definitely see him being a starter. That's another reason why I would love him to go there. I would love to see that, <laughs> that lineup. Westbrook, Wade, George, Mello and Adams, that's that's a, a line to be reckoned with. Now, mind you, Dwayne Wade is 35 years old, so he can't defend as as he look, much as he used to. He's not as explosive as he was, but he's still Dwayne Wade. And he he makes plays. If you if guys remember, they were up 2-0 on on the Boston Celtics playoffs last year, and they literally almost swept them. They won two on the road, so that was courtesy to Dwayne Wade's moxie and his, his mind, his basketball mind. Other team out there is the Spurs, but we all know Dwayne Wade is not really going to play for Popovich for all the battles. I don't think that would be necessarily be right. And I don't think that he wants to play in a rigid system where he has to answer to somebody. He feels like he is a key cog on any team, and he has earned the respect to not be talked down to, like how Popovich talks down to the stars. And Dwayne Wade knows you can't go over there and be flexing. You cannot flex at all with Popovich. If Tim Duncan can't do it, Tony Parker can't do it. You can't do it. You know, we have the Miami Heat, which offered Dwayne Wade the most money. But it's not about the money for Wade, because if it was about the money, he would just stay in Chicago and basically take all of his uh, 23 or $25 million, and he would just be chilling. So it's not about the money for him. It's not, it's not about the money right now. Right now, it's about winning. It's about his legacy. So they're not going to be a, a key destination point unless he just wants to take the money and relax. So the Cleveland Cavaliers are considered basically the the team with the most to get Dwayne Wade. You know, they have the cachet of having LeBron James. LeBron James and Wade played together. And LeBron James and Wade always said we would get together one day and do something bigger. Dwayne Wade, in not so many words, said that, you know, if one day the opportunity arose for them to play together again, Wade would go to where LeBron's at because LeBron came to Miami. We all know when they formed the big three, Bosch and Wade did not want to go to Cleveland. So Wade basically persuaded LeBron to go to Miami and play with, with him in Miami. So the first choice for LeBron was to stay in Cleveland and bring the other two guys in. That being said, Wade has the opportunity to return the favor. So we'll see how this plays out. If I was Wade, I would not go to Miami. I mean, Cleveland, due to the simple fact that when LeBron was leaving, he didn't even tell him until the day of. <laughs> and the decision had already been made, and Wade already had taken a pay cut. So all this turmoil that Wade had experienced in Miami was due to the fact that LeBron James basically didn't have the common decency to let him know, I I'm not coming back, so take your money. Don't worry about making room for me. The way Wade took a pay cut to make room for LeBron. So, I mean, we don't know how their friendship is. You know, they, they both have very funny personalities, I would like to say. 
So they can get past that easily. And you can see LeBron James very well in Cleveland uniform. But if I was Dwayne Wade, I would definitely go to OKC. But then again, Cleveland makes a lot more sense because they have an easier ride to go to the finals. So it's ease of schedule. It's who you're playing with. It's familiarity of who you're playing with. Dwayne Wade is very familiar with LeBron James. They play great basketball together. And we will see what happens now. Does this give any team, does Wade give any team a push to beat the Warriors? I would say yes, especially if he's coming off the bench. He can give you good minutes and he could dominate any bench guys. Like that's that's easy. So I can say that he could actually kind of even out the skills a little bit closer. If it's not 50-50, it's 51-49 or 52-48. It's it's a toss-up kind of with, with Wade on the on a, on the Cleveland team or an Oklahoma City team coming off the bench. That that's a big help for any team. So We'll see. This summer has been one of the craziest summers. I cannot wait to watch the NBA it's regular season. And I, I haven't said that in a long time. The regular season excites me so much. Forget about the playoffs. Just the regular season. The, the playoffs, you're just going to be glued to the TV. You're not going to want to change the channel at all. So let me know how you feel about where Dwayne Wade lands. Where do you want him to land? This is Vlad from Construction Hoops Me Super. Peace.